slash celebrity brand fragrances and a new one from an old name and of course all in the ASMR style because I know that's what you're here for right so first is this Lacoste touch up pink now I got this when I was younger and I used it before I went to gym to this day it reminds me of exercising whenever I'm gonna work out I go to Lacoste touch of pink it, it just it is it, it like literally now triggers me to exercise like if I need to get myself in the mood to go to the gym or like do a cardio I spray this I know it's like something happened in my brain are stronger so I'll only do one spritz per little card. Love the bottle, it looks 
20s, 30s, 40s, whatever. It doesn't overpower my body chemistry because again, sometimes really strong perfumes do that for me, but sometimes I want it to, like when I'm at the gym, I want it to overpower the musk. So yeah, love JLo Glow. Still a classic. Still wear it, still rebuy it all the time. This next one is my favorite perfume. I am so sad I didn't repurchase while it still was on the market. This has been discontinued. One of the saddest discontinuations that I have. I have lived through many discontinuations in my, I'm still going to say short life, but this one makes me so sad because I cannot find a perfume that smells anything like this. If anybody has suggestions, please, because I can't find anything. I wear this very sparingly nowadays because I know there's no replacing it. It's now become a special occasion perfume for me. I know, I know, I know. It's Halle Berry Pure Orchid. Pure Orchid by Halle Berry. I don't know why this was discontinued. It is hands down one of the best celebrity perfumes. There's nothing quite like it on the market. It's it's intense. It's definitely an evening scent. I don't have to spray it, but I will. Something about perfume. 
perfume bottles.
so it's definitely very floral, but I don't even know if peach is one of the, the notes. I should look those up. I'll put the notes on the screen for all of these as well, like the official ones from like um, the, the fragrance. There's like a website that like lists all perfumes and their notes and stuff like that. one. It's definitely a spring summer scent. It's very floral. It's a very like pollen, nectar, flowers, but it's got that again like the bit of like nectarines, plums, peaches. That kind of still smells like peach and plum, but it's got like that like wood and like bitter smell a bit. about Beauty Abroad because that's also floral but kind of different. I might go and get that one too. Honestly, Nana Labor has never disappointed me. This is a floral I can get behind. I love the orange bottle. It's definitely different from all the other ones I have. Oh god, I can already 
smell it. I will say, this at least has a more interesting cap. It's still plastic in here, but like it's got the little daisies and you can actually spin them. They all spin, which is interesting and they're kind of like, you know, they're kind of interesting. The gold and white go pretty well together. I used to have Estee Lauder Beautiful. I'm probably, if I'm gonna do like a high-end one, it's gonna be that one. I know people think that one's old lady-ish, but I have like a personal connection to Estee Lauder Beautiful, so to me that's like, yeah, I've run out, so I have to repurchase, but yeah. So yes, those, that is part two of my ASMR fragrance reviews. Let's smell them all again and see how they've held up the drugstore brands. So the first one was the uh, Touch of Pink, was it? Yep. You can definitely still smell it and it definitely smells better after it's mellowed out. Again, very young very like feminine, very youthful, but I think anybody of any age can wear it. Alfred Sung Shi, still there, definitely wears a lot better than the, obviously the dollar store ones, but except, except maybe the, the, um, um, sweet melon that smelled of those punch and cherries. Let me smell that one actually again. Oh, good God, it's still there. I, why does the bad one have to have such lasting power? I swear that might actually have more lasting power than some of these drugstore brands. Like, it's so strong. It, it smells like a bitter cherry bit. Artificial, like somebody spilled cough syrup onto a bunch of leftover cherry pits. Like, 
crazy floral. Love it. J-Lo glow, that top note, that lily of the valley note. Never fades. You'll smell it on yourself at the end of the day. You're getting into bed and if you like, sometimes I'll spray on my, like the inside of my elbow. That's a good place for me to sort of test perfumes and I swear I will continue to smell it like 16 hours after I put it on. Like Berry Pure Orchid. Doesn't have as much staying power as some of the others, but still my favorite. Doesn't matter. Can do no wrong in my eyes. It's a favorite for sure. Oh, the sweetness really persists as well as that musk. Oh, it's such a great evening scent. Again, if anybody has, if anybody has any suggestions for alternatives, I am, please, I am begging you. I am begging you. Give me some suggestions. Enchanted Flora, the new Nanette Lepore one I just tried. Honestly, very pleasantly surprised by it. It's a really great floral. Definitely so much better than the daisy. The daisy that still smells like lawn clippings. Floral lawn clippings. I just... Anyways, thank you for being here again. I hope you liked this part two. Part two, 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 two of my perfumes. I hope it was ASMR-ish enough. I really love the little tinkling sounds of the glass. I would love to hear from all of you. Oh my god, why is it so dusty? I would love to hear from all of you. What is your favorite perfume? Again, I'm always looking for recommendations. If you have any recommendations,